Get out of here, planes! What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Sandy Bay of Farming Simulator 19. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this map to release, and it is finally here. It is out currently on PC. If you guys are watching Day Of, a uh, console coming soon. So hang tight for that. We have a brand new farm, something that a lot of you guys have been wanting me to do, a series that you've been wanting me to do, and a series that I've been wanting to do and have been putting off ever since the game came out, except for a little bit there at the beginning. So today, we are going to be starting a Massey Ferguson series. I thought about doing John Deere, I thought about doing Case, I thought about doing Kloss even, even though I'm doing Kloss on everything. But I've decided today we are going to start Massey Ferguson Farm. We've got quite a bit of equipment, not a ton, and there may be some stuff that I'm missing. <laughs> However, well, that's not really going to matter now, is it? And I've already missed the turnoff for my farm. <laughs> Good job, DJ. Good job, man. Uh, so this is all brand new. I started playing this series off screen in Farming Simulator 15. Or 17, rather. Yeah, Farming Simulator 17. And absolutely loved it. I loved this so, so much. I have no idea where I'm going at all. <laughs> oh, man. Rip in the chat already. Oh, get over here. Um, I have already gotten a ticket from driving around the <laughs> driving around the map trying to find where I wanted to go. But everything is here. Everything that I wanted to do is here. And I have this whole series already planned out, at least from the start. Now, a lot of people, when they start this, are going to use... Is that my turn? Definitely my turn. A lot of people are going to use... I'm going, I'm going. A lot of people are going to use fields 1 and 2 and, and 21 down at the bottom, where it starts you. And you get a big farm down there. However, I wanted to give myself room to grow. So... We are here at Willow Farm, established 1991. I'm older than this darn farm is. Let's go in here, let's open up the gate, and let's check out what we've got. Let's start with the right and go down. So how much do we own? Well, we've got two fields, field 14 and 15, but we've got all this area around here, which I thought, well, we could plow that up. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do. This, it was, it was a pig farm, but I don't think we're going to be doing pigs, at least not to start with. So we're going to move on from there. Everything is completely filthy. We've got an old Massey. We've got a uh, little Massey skitter right here. If we go around through, we've got a horse planter coming through here. In here, we've got our tipper and we've got our spreader. We're going to keep those Ooh, little plow. Of course, we've got the... Uh, We've got that plow right there. Yep, whatever that one is. <laughs> We've got the Massey Ferguson with the header. All in-game stuff here. And we have a 7700, which I love. That is our big tractor. And then this guy, the Black Sheep Mining Massey 3000. We've got the big engine in this guy. So we are good to go. We've got a front loader on there as well. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. So first up. What do we need to do? Well, let's jump in and let's give you an exact show of everything that we're using currently. Again, the Massey 3000, we've got the 1300 DT. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but we've got it. And then, of course, the Massey 7726, we got 280 horsepower in there. Should be enough to at least get us moving. We got the Lizard D754 truck pack. Working on an update for this. I was like, well, let's prepare, let's get one. The end game Massey Activa, We've got the modded 711. We have a Joskin Transpace 8000. This is not the mod that just came out. Uh, this is just the modded trailer version. We have a BP9 to go on the back. We've also got the loader, which is on the back of our small Massey header. Um, let's see, is this the modded one? Yeah, so the header goes a little bit faster, but not too fast. Uh, we've also got the subsoiler 6M Pronto. We have the Breedle K105 with the extension on the back, so the spreader extension's there, but it only holds 9,000 liters. And then we have our quickie front loaders and stuff and all the buckets and all the goodies. Maybe got a front lifter on there. And I have a sprayer. Yes, see this thing, because we're gonna need to spray everything off. So let's jump right in 
and let's make some stuff happen. First up, what we need to do is we need to plow around the edges of our fields. And we're going to be plowing around the edge of all the fields. Some of you guys may know, whenever you start a new series, sometimes some of the fields are good, and some of them aren't quite ready. So let's jump in, and let's take, take a look. Also, we have two new crops with us. We have alfalfa and rye, which I do plan on doing stuff with. They are working with seasons. So you can see everything has been uh, harvested or cultivated, ready to go. But over here, field 14 needs lime. It also needs plowing around the edges. And field 15 needs plowing around the edges as well. Plus, we are going to plow up right through here and over here. So we're going to end up with four fields total, two of which I'm not going to be able to cheat stuff into. <laughs> I'm going to have to do everything all by myself. But let's do it, man. Let's jump right in. That is not the right tractor. We need in here. This guy right here. This will handle the plow. I did go for the all-wheel drive version of the Massey 3000. I was real tempted to get the two-wheel drive version, but at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? We just need to go with something nice and easy. So we did do that. Um, I'm using the American Midwest Seasons Geo because I always do and I always will use that one. Let's get this guy opened up right here. Um, around through here is actually really cool too. We can need to leave that open so we can get through. Uh, also, there's buses and all kinds of just stuff everywhere on this map. It is absolutely, truly incredible and remarkable the things that Oxygen David has been able to do with this. It, it really, really is. We've got a neat little drive through building right here. I'm not sure what the building itself is used for. However, I do know that this is our only way from one side of our farm to the other. So hopefully all of our equipment can fit through here. That's probably going to be it right there. We do have a silo. There's nothing in the silos. I think I forgot. Yeah, I forgot to completely get rid of all that, but we're going to be getting rid of all that. So here, right here, this is where we're going to be plowing up. None of this is plowed up, but we're going to do it. It's supposed to be a big meadow. Yeah, we're, we're going to rip that to shreds. And then here we have our fields. Field 15 and behind us, field 14. Look at the view on this field right now. God, it's awesome. Oh, yo, it's a plane. No, I did have to delete the sound from the... Uh, Gosh, was it the air balloon? There's an air balloon around here somewhere. And it is just annoying, to say the least. So I've completely got rid of the sound from that. Come through here. There we go. Very nice, very nice. So this is going to be fun. It's going to take us just a little while. So we're going to jump out of here. I am going to run. We're going to run our headland around through here. We're going to run our headland through the other field. And then we're going to come up and start ripping these fields up. Now, in here, we're going to plant grass. I don't <laughs> I don't actually have any mowers, so I'm just going to plant grass, and, and we'll see what happens. That's going to be there. But over there, that's going to be something completely different. Let's check it out. Let's jump into it. One field down, one to go, and got it. Raise it up. So this is also going to need some lime when we're done, too, so we will come through here, and we will lime all that up. But there is field number one. Let's jump over here to the next one. Now you may be saying to yourself, DJ, why Why do you just have to do the outside? Why Why can't you just do, you know, the whole field or, or none of the field? Why does it have to be a certain amount? Well, the thing is, whenever you come in, mappers, they'll put down where the fields are. Then when you add contracts and that kind of thing, sometimes it doesn't take up the entire field. Sometimes the contract will only take up part of the field. So if I click this to, to you know, if I F11 this to be a certain thing, the whole field's not going to go. Most of it will, but there will be some little edges around the outside. You may have seen uh, fields like that where it's just not going to be right. And for us here, that's why I'm doing this, because we're not going to be using F11s here. We, we may use it for this or that, but we're not going to be using it for a whole lot. I'm not going to try to cheat on this one. I mean, we're going to cheat. It's me. But <laughs> don't get ahead of yourselves. Um, but we're we're gonna have fun and we're gonna play the game the way the game is meant to be played in in my head, I guess. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna have some fun and we're gonna get our game on. So there's that. Uh, we're gonna finish this field. And I'll see you guys when it's time to create some new fields. We're gonna be creating two fields today, two brand new fields. Perfect. Now 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drive around where the new field's going to be. So new field is going to start in here. And we're going to come around through the bottom, right down through here. Again, this whole thing's just one big meadow, but ain't nobody got time for that. We're going to turn this into a field. And then we're going to come along through here. I will tell you, if you have the uh, easy store options or the store transport options, this area where I'm sitting right now is a perfect place to relocate that. And then swing it back around through the top here and come down around. And then once we hit this area right here, what I'm going to do is we're going to just send this kind of out through here and around. There we go. And so that's going to be that field. And then we're going to make a smaller version kind of right here. We're going to go around and highly recommend that you guys do this. Just drive around. If you're planning on making a new field, drive around the area because you, <laughs> you really want to do that just in case there's something somewhere that you weren't really planning on. And I'm going to make our first cut right around here. It looks like this through here is good. I am going to leave a little bit more space than you're probably expecting me to leave on the edges. Normally, I get pretty darn close. But we're going to have to be getting big machinery in and out of through here. So I think about here is as close as I really want to be getting. So let's drop that down. Oh, boy. Let's save the game real quick just in case something happens. <laughs> Hey, and go. Now, you could do this if you want. Uh, you don't have to do this if you guys are playing around the same place. I am doing this just so I can get an extra field in. Uh, this would be really, really handy. Let's say you're going to be using this area right here for a meadow. You can either wait for this grass to grow or you can just do it yourself. Um, either way is going to be just fine. We're going to get pretty close to this fence right here. A lot closer than that field over there is. There we go. And rocking. Now this spot right here, we got to be careful there. There's that. Nice wide open turn there. And come around through here, close to the fence. Not quite up at it, but there you go. You guys kind of get the idea, don't you? Yeah. Um, so there we go. There's that. And so what I'm going to do now is we are going to pop out of here. I'm going to finish this up, and uh, then we're going to go do the outlines of the other fields that we're going to be doing as well. Um, I'm going to be doing the outlines with this, and then I'm going to be coming through with a modded... Man, that thing was flying. Uh, I'm going to be coming through with a modded plow just to rip this up, take it a little bit faster, and uh, make it happen just a bit quicker than it's happening right now. So, let's do that. This is another thing here. I've got these gates open so that I don't hit them or so that I don't create a field that's too close to them either. You don't want to create a field that's too close to the gates. And there we go. Perfect. Let's bring it up and let's take a look and see. So that's going to be our new field. It's probably not quite the size of field 14 altogether, but it is a nice area. It's a good place for that. So let's, uh, Let's do it again right through here. How's about that? There you go. That's your field right there. I'm liking that. I am really, really liking that. Now let's do the same thing right here. Um, there's just unused space that I feel like we could utilize thoroughly to just a little bit more field ditch. Just a little bit more, not much, but just enough to make it worthwhile. Plus, uh, if we ever decide to start doing grass work and that kind of thing, these could be turned into grass fields and we could kind of mow it. I think that's, I feel like that's the way this area is meant to be. But, uh, well, it's me we're talking about here. So, <laughs> uh, we're good. We're not getting much here. I mean, if, if this was a wheat field, we might get a thousand liters off of this thing. But, hey, it's a thousand more than we had, right? And lastly, it's time to go in and create a field where the pigsty is. Can we get in that way? We can get in this way. So let's do it. Open up, bad boy. Oh, it's coming this way. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. <laughs> How wide does that open? About that? All right, that's not too bad. Um, again, we're going to drive around through here and just kind of see the area. This is all going to be grass, so we can rip up pretty close to the edges and be fine. So we're going to come up through here and swing around. Oop, oop, a little bouncy through there. We might smooth that out before we plow it up just to make it a little bit easier. But this, this is a lot of area. I mean, we could make some silage bales and, and kind of make some money off of this. That's not a bad idea. We might lease a mower and a uh, tedder and a baler. Or not a tedder, a wood rower and a baler. 
Yeah, we'll come through here and we'll make uh, make some grass uh, silage bales. Sell those guys off at the BGA and make some serious cash. Speaking of BGA, where in the world is it? <laughs> I don't even know. Is this it down through here? Biogas plant. Yeah. All right. And it looks like we own it. So biogas plant, we do have money there. Let's see. Silage paying off 450 bucks per thousand liters. That ain't too bad. That is not bad at all. Is it selling anywhere else? Um, four places. So we have four places to sell silage on this map. That ain't, that's not bad. That is really, really good. So let's do it. About right here. Let's see. So it looks like through here, that's going to be our slurry. So we don't want to get too close to all that. Uh, anything that's got mud or dirt on it, I think I'm going to stay away from. And by think, I mean I am going to stay away from. But again, keep in mind, this is all just going to be one big grass field. So let's rock and roll. Let's hit all this. And right there it is. Raise it up. Fold it. Let's go ahead and turn on field creation just in case this accidentally hits something. So let's take a look at everything that we have done so far today. So we have edged field 15 and 14. We have gone through and we have done all this. So that is all going to be usable fields. As a matter of fact, this field's bigger than this one. I might actually use this area as a crop for the first, uh, first part of the year. Maybe this whole first year I might use this as a crop field. And... Um, so we could just make a little bit extra money. I think that's going to be the best thing. So let's bring this through here. Again, like I said, I'm going to go and lease something a little bit bigger. This is a great plow, but I think we could find something better than this to, to do all of our, our dirty work with. So let's do this. Let's put this right about there. That'll work. And then let's come through here. And let's see. Let's set this area as our purchase. So shift, alt. S. That's going to bring up Seasons menu. We don't need that. What we need is the plow menu. Let's come through here, and I'm going to use the second plow. So we've got the Joker 12R, uh, 12RT plow ultimate, and then we have the ultimate fast. I need to change the name of this to fast, but this will go a little bit faster. 42 miles an hour versus 16, I think. Yeah, 16 miles an hour. We want to go faster than that. I just want to get the work done, man. Just get it done. Uh, we're going to lease. I'm not going to buy. There we go. It's right there. Let's hook up to it. This is a plow I use a lot. I mean, I, I use this plow a ton. Also, we need to shift alt R, but <laughs> that way we don't get charged for anything that accidentally pops itself up over here. So let's do this. Let's come out here. I'm just going to start. Hey, there goes a tractor down the road. That's awesome. Oh, I'm going to get used to that real quick. This is so far this, I, I believe, um, at least for mod hub released maps is one of the most in-depth and uh, I don't want to say realistic, but one of the more in-depth maps that we have seen. So here's what I'm going to do. This is going to create this field very, very quickly for me. So this is, uh, oh, and it's so lightweight too. It's just sliding down the hill. I'm going to go through and I'm going to hit all these areas. We're going to plow all this up. And I'll see you when it's done. Everybody's plowed up, ready to go. You can see right here. Well, we don't own field 39. I, I was thinking about buying 39, but I decided at the last minute not to. Um, well, it gives us something to, to grow for. And wow, it's $200,000. All right, well, whatever. Ooh, that is expensive, baby. That is expensive. But nonetheless, we need to lime a lot. So we're going to lime around field 15, the entire 14, and all three of the new sections that we just made. And in order to do that, I think we are going to bring on our Massey 3000 series. This guy right here. I think this is going to be plenty... Um, we might need a little bit of weight on the front. I will say that we might need some weight. We're going to find out as soon as we do this. If we do, we will buy ourselves a new weight. But open sesame. Why is everything so dirty? Gosh, <laughs> this thing's filthy. And yeah, none of the matter. We'll be okay, I think, for right now at least. So we do have a lime station on this uh, farm. As a matter of fact, there's a couple lime stations all around. I hope this has the power to pull this around because I am just now thinking about that. Let's back it up. Put some lime in here. I think this is the lime station. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out and see. Yeah, we're not getting nothing under there. I'm not sure what that is. Well, let's back up to this guy and see what happens here. <laughs> Listen, some of this I just don't quite know. Hey! We got some lime and it's not that expensive okay so it's it's okay it, it's not terrible 
There's a thousand dollars for six thousand liters, so I'm not gonna do math because you guys don't let me do that anymore. Sixteen hundred bucks for nine thousand liters. Yeah, I'll take that. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So we've got all these fields that we need to do, and this isn't going to take a few minutes. This is going to take a hot minute, especially running this guy right here. I mean, we're going to be spitting it out about as fast as we can. Yeah, and of course I'm missing things like crazy. So, uh, I think... Oh, bring it around, baby, bring it around. This thing has no power whatsoever. But it's got to do the job. That's why it's here. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you had fun today. And I hope you learned something new about this map. If you did, let me know down in the comment section below. Again, console players, sit back, relax, hang tight. Pay attention to what all the PC guys are doing on their Let's Plays and their map tours and that kind of thing. Um, because this will be coming to console shortly. So hang tight, relax. It's coming your way. But again... I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss an episode of Sandy Bay Now or a daily farming simulator video here on the channel. With all that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!